Okay, Emma, since we have trouble getting into the same room, I'm going to make you a quick video here. I think your thesis statement um, is it's a bit too close to plot instead of a claim. Um, to me, in reading your whole paper, I think you're noticing the influence of good leaders in PK's life that help him to draw the correct conclusions about himself. So you might want to reconsider that when um, making some changes to your thesis. Um, I've circled a few words in between and I'll hand this to you on Monday, but um, on your, on the whole, the the background is pretty standard as far as retelling the story. You just need to stay in present tense. There's some issues with tense there. Um, and you need a time reference. It's hard to understand the story unless you give it a context of the time period it's in to understand the, um, the racist elements that are uh, definitely stronger. I'm sure they're still there today in South Africa, but definitely stronger during this time of the storytelling. Okay, so I've just um, circled a couple things that are needing some clarity. Um, and then, of course, I've given you marks like where you put a comma and that kind of thing. Um, so the subthesis, uh, what I, after reading your sections, the subtheses tend to be a little too plot driven as well. Um, but it would, you do have, this would be a conclusive type statement, but you need, you need to rethink subtheses and that's something that we can go over together. And then, um, there's a couple of things that I've just marked on this page, not a lot. So page three is fine. Page four, uh, if you have a four line quote, it has to be indented um, and to the one inch margin like you have down here. Um, and I, it's up to your teacher whether she wants it single spaced or double spaced. But anytime you have a quote that takes up more than four lines, one, two, three, four, has to be indented over. Um, I think you can make a, um, a stronger claim here with PK starts contrasting the love of the church expresses toward the love of his mentor expresses, um, meaning that's that's a basic plot statement but what are you trying to get at with that um is that um is it more that doc represents true christian love as opposed to a false um i know you've been dealing a lot with appearance versus reality but you haven't been very direct in saying that and the sub theses need to be very direct um that you almost have to handhold your audience a little bit more or it becomes confusing Okay, circle just a few things here. Um, you come to a part where it says love lasts um, because in love there is grace. And I think you can find some textual proof for this. You've given proof of the opposite with how the apostolic faith church um, has a, a wrong-headed thinking about love and how they give and take love from people. Um, but you should have text proof to contrast that, whether it's from how Doc treats him or how Heel Pete treats him, uh, that you can you can start to um, make a, a stronger statement if you'll give this contrasting thought some text evidence with it. Um, let's see, the plot. Oh, so in this subthesis, you say PK grows, sorry, I hope it's not blurry, but it says PK grows in his ability to discern from perspective and reality. When Doc exposes another view of life that he contrasts with the fickleness of the apostolic church, this is plot. It's not subtheses. Um, it's kind of like you're putting your cart in front of your horse. You keep giving me um, the conclusions and then giving me the evidence afterwards. So you you might need to switch some things around to make sure that you're you're always in a stronger paper if you will present evidence first. And then explain how that evidence proves your subthesis. Instead of giving me the conclusion and then going back and saying, see, this is where I found it. Um, just be careful with, um, with references to different people and that your um, pronouns and antecedents all match. Again, another long quote to indent. Um, let's see what I said here. Oh, so what is the church settling for instead? Um, 
Complacency breeds no desire for finding the truth as they see in the church. No one argues with the church to test the truth, but settles in fear or it settles for fear of becoming rejected. Um, maybe that's what I meant there. Uh, the contrast, if anytime you have a contrast, you have to have two individual things contrasting. So um, the contrast between Doc and the church lies in how each respond to failings and who each one cares about. Okay, so that's just a, a matter of correct pronoun. Um, this subthesis is actually better. This subheader um, is, I, I'd like you to, to just look at the difference between this one and the first one, because the first one is more plot driven. This one is uh, a direct statement, uh, a, a claim about racism of what it does to people. Um, religion becomes a tool. Um, I would say religion is maybe even just make it a stronger religion is a tool used to mold per, um, whose perspective though. I think there is probably what I struggled with. That's too specific. Um, make it more general because your audience should be able to take your claim and apply it to themselves. Oh, and you do need to take a moment and explain what an Afrikaner is. It might sound really basic to you, but this whole concept of the different people groups is what um, kind of took me the longest to get a good handle on why PK is uh, treated the way he is. And then... So I don't know that I agree with your claim here that PK limits his intelligence. Um, I think it's more that he hides it, and it's and you do you you hint at that yourself with the claim with the piece of evidence you have here. Um, instead of limiting his drive for knowledge, he's it's more that he's. Um, I like the idea of the camouflage that you said uh, that he doesn't limit his drive for knowledge. He just hides it from others. So he still has a huge thirst for knowledge, but he he learns how to how to keep that to himself so that it's not used against him. Um, let's see. Oh, you just have a spelling error at the bottom torture. Let's see where we went here. Um, as a consequence, the racism constructs his mind to view their perspective as his reality. What does this change of perspective? What does this do for PK? Um, what does the going to their view of perspective, does it limit him? Does it um, hinder him? Does it make him stronger? Be specific on what it actually does. Um, in finding his identity, I think in this particular section, you got a little cliche. And what do you mean by finding his identity and reality opens a bit? That's all of that really needs explanation. Um, I do like the conclusion that he's a boy, just a boy and not a disease, but I would, I would be more specific in how he gets, what does this mean by finding his reality? Um, and I would be on your translation here. I mean, on your extra information, maybe you need to put that. I think you had told me that, um, the Boers were immigrant farmers who came, um, like 400 years earlier. So maybe you need to address that. Um, on this page, we have a lot of past tense when we should have present tense. So I made some corrections there for you to look at as well as commas and spelling errors. Mm. And be careful with the pronoun um, references as well, who implicates, and you have a fragment down here. So just some things to fix there. Let's see, the three of them were close and mourned for his death. Oh, so how can three people mourn for one man's death when there's only a group of three? So be careful how um, how that subject verb fits together. And let's see. And the rest seems to, it seems to work. I do think you need to work on your conclusion. That was my only thought at the end is it I, I, I know you double it twice. I don't know if maybe you thought you needed to get to 13 pages, but... There's like three sentences in here that are repeated right here. So go back and, and find that as well. And that's all I have for you right now. But I do think the thesis statement, now that you've written the majority of your, the heart of your argument, you need to go and adjust your thesis statement. That's the number one, um, is that the thesis statement can be stronger, as well as the sub theses being more related to your opinion and not dependent on plot. Okay, thank you.